Hey up everyone, welcome to another video. I'm guessing that you've guessed already. We're after the British turkey. Well, that's what I like to call them. Uh, more commonly known as a common pheasant. Uh, as we all know, turkeys is a tr traditional Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner in USA. And these are American cousins turkeys that run wild throughout all states in USA. Now we're not blessed with that luxury in UK. So for me, next best thing is the pheasant. You can see a beautiful cock pheasant. And again, if you can acquire some, you can rustle them up into some beautiful meals. Now they don't originate in the UK. They are a non-native species. And they come from Asia and the rainforests in particular. They're brought in by Romans in the 11th century. And they're a well-established popular game bird and they're reared by gamekeepers for shoots here in UK. Here's an M pheasant. It's worth noting that legally you can't shoot game on a Sunday in the UK. That's any wildfowl or any game such as pheasants and hares. So I'm out targeting the pheasants or British turkey. Yeah, it's just a bit of light humour, really. And a feed station is sure to attract him in. I'm here because I want a couple foot pot. I've got some nice dishes that I want to rustle up. And hopefully, I might get an opportunity to one or two squirrels, even though it's still a little bit early in the area. And uh, there's a lot of beach mast in this area still. Surprisingly, the first visitor were a rabbit, but you'll see me shoot rabbits in this area before. Uh, and there is a few around. Now my rabbit stocks are running a bit low in freezer as well. Been making sure you eat everything up ready for refilling. So a nice bonus to get this rabbit in bag. Here's the same footage and I've just slowed it down for you. A lovely clinical shot. Dropped it on spot, thrashed about for a few seconds and it was all over. Now this way, just after first light, you'll be able to see the image is a bit grainy. That's why I've showed you in black and white and a colour version. Now rabbits are abundant in the UK. Uh, they can get decimated sometimes by mixer or hemorrhaging disease. Again, they're not native. They were brought here by Normans and they were brought here as a food source. They're quite abundant. Even though we lose some to disease now and again, usually recover after a couple of years. And there he is, a male buck rabbit, three quarters grown, perfect for pot. Again, rabbits are delicious meat. And let's show our quarry as ultimate respect. If we're going to take the life and going to be pest managers, then we need to be utilising every part of this rabbit and respecting it fully. So here we go, this is what we're looking for, this is what I've come out for. Nice clinical shot. If you are going to be taking pheasants, or larger quarry, it's got to be headshots only. You probably get away with a clinical neck shot, breaking spinal cord. But with a larger quarry like this, or tough quarry like squirrels, it's got to be an headshot for you main dispatch. I've left this piece of footage in. You can see, it was struck cleanly in the head. It went straight down. It were all over, but then inhibitions kicked in, nerves are firing off through this pheasant's body, and its last instinct is to run. So as the brain shuts down, it still sends a few signals out. And eventually, when them neurons slow down, the body will actually realise it's dead, and then it will come to rest.
as I said before, the nerves and the thrashing about, that's normal. The bird was killed humanely and it's just body shutting down. There were a few more pheasants in the area, but they were being reluctant to come to where I needed to to shoot them. So I decided to do a quick pickup. I picked up my rabbit, I weed it out, made sure there were no urine left in its bladder. Because when body relaxes, what happens is it'll leak all over your bag. Pick pheasant up, pull them out of way. And then hopefully I'll get some more visitors. I'm shooting in lovely surroundings. And here's a few still images of various locations on this permission. It's an absolutely beautiful place in a stunning part of the country. And I'm truly blessed to be able to shoot here. Now we're back to pheasants natural habitat. It's an unusual one to think that they come from jungles or rainforests in Asia. But if you think at UK climate, it's quite temperate. So we have hot weather, we have a lot of wet weather. Very similar to a rainforest environment. These pheasants come in all different varieties from these areas and you'll see them mixed, mixed varieties on different locations throughout UK. So they've adapted well to our climate and they thrive in big numbers. Here we go, another visitor looking for that perfect headshot again. Another clean dispatch. And you can usually tell it's a good headshot when you see that neck movement. They try and lift their head up, but there's nothing there. Here's another slow mo for you. So my morning's been successful. That's two British turkeys to be taking home. I've got some wonderful ideas how to cook these up and it's some nice, fresh, wild meat for the freezer. It's a shame we don't have natural turkeys or native turkeys. It'd be perfect if we could go out and source our own Christmas dinner. Now, pheasants are preyed on by humans and all of different species. And here's some former hawk tucking it into a nice meal. And that brought me session to a close, really. I went out, I was successful. I only wanted a couple for freezer. Like I say, it's too early for squirrels. All that floor where I am there and up towards field margin. He's absolutely carpeted with beech mast. I have seen them grabbing beech mast off floor and they're digging, it, digging holes and burying it and uh, storing caches for winter. I reckon sometime in December this feed will start proving productive. Here's my end bag. Two end pheasants. Nice rabbit. These are all home now, prepared in freezer, ready to get cooked up. Dog knows when I come home, there's a boot full of goodies. And he jumped straight in and had a good sniff. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I'll see you in the next video.